it was ongoing and persistent, and it got to the point where they just couldn't take it anymore. Attorney Thomas Clay says six current and former TARC employees and an independent contractor came to him with complaints about TARC Executive Director Ferdinand Risco. They described what he calls a troubling pattern of conduct. There were uh, text messages sent, there were photographs, there were uh, physical contacts. On Monday, Clay sent this email to Louisville Deputy Mayor Ellen Hessen, detailing the allegations. He says the women were worried about retaliation. The people I talked to perceived that their careers were somewhat dependent upon their acquiescing to these advances. Clay says it's his understanding that an outside law firm had already been hired to look into a complaint about Risco, which was made to the TARC Board of Directors more than a week ago. It didn't just start recently, I can tell you that. On Tuesday, Risco appeared before the Public Works Committee and apologized for issues with the city's TARC 3 program, which helps riders who cannot get to TARC's fixed routes. We absolutely uh, want to make sure that our customers get the service that they expect and demand of us. Wednesday morning, Louisville Mayor Greg Fisher sent out a statement saying Risco had resigned the position he'd held since April. Clay says the women are relieved, but he doesn't believe this is over yet. I think there are more people who are subjected to this kind of conduct that have, come, have not come forward. Clay says he does not yet know whether any of the women plan to file a lawsuit against Tark or Risco. Denny Camper, WLKY News. And Tark plans to conduct a national search to find a new director. In a statement, board chair... Mary Morrow said in part, the TARC team's focus remains on providing a high quality, safe and reliable service that is so crucial to our community's residents and visitors. I want our employees to know that we appreciate their commitment to providing the best service to our passengers. The board has called a special meeting for tomorrow afternoon.